Mount Hollywood, which is not the mountain that the Hollywood sign is on, is one of my favorite hikes in the Griffith Park area of Los Angeles. The mountain has amazing summit views looking down on downtown LA, Griffith Observatory, and out towards the ocean. Here's all the information if you want to check it out for yourself. To start this trail and get to the official trailhead, you'll want to make your way towards Griffith Observatory. Just so you know, it is $15 to park here per hour. There are other places you can park, but they do add elevation and mileage to your hike. So for this video, we're just starting at the official trailhead, which is right near Griffith Observatory. Captain's Roost, Mount Hollywood Summit. This is another hike that I've done before. You can see one of my old videos here if you want to, but I wanted to do it again because I didn't get to go to Captain's Roost the first time. So we're gonna go to Captain's Roost, Mount Hollywood Summit, see Griffith Observatory, and that's gonna be it for this hike. We just had a good rain yesterday, which is why it's so clear. You can see all the way out to the ocean and great views of the Hollywood sign as well. This is the first point of interest on the hike. It's the Berlin Forest. This little park celebrates the 50 year anniversary of the alliance between the city of Berlin and the city of Los Angeles as sister cities. It's pretty tiny, but there's a great spot for views with picnic benches and shade. That's the Mount Hollywood Summit, and then those palm trees are Captain's Roost. By far, the best thing about this hike is the constant amazing views as you make your way up and down. This bridge we're crossing over right here is what goes over the tunnel that you drive up through to get to Griffith Observatory. Can you believe how incredible this is? There's Griffith Observatory right there. There's the ocean, and then there's the Hollywood sign. Pretty incredible Southern California view. We got one really long switch back to get up there. This hike is not particularly difficult. It's mostly just a wide dirt road all the way to the summit with a gradual elevation gain. I feel like I say this on every hike, but it's a warm one. It's the middle of January and there's no shade. It's warm. There's downtown LA peeking out behind Griffith Observatory. It rained yesterday, so it's a lot clearer than it normally is in Los Angeles. Right around this bend, we're gonna get an awesome view of the Hollywood sign. This area is known as the Tiffany & Co. Foundation Overlook, so they built this here. A little bench you can sit and look at the Hollywood sign from. This area spotlights the money that Tiffany & Co. and many other companies and individuals donated in order to buy land for Griffith Park and protect it from private development. The trail that you see going right there along to the Hollywood sign, that's the trail past Bronson Caves, which you can see video of right here. From the Tiffany Overlook bench, it's basically uphill the entire rest of the way. So we're taking this long way on the way up because I wanted to show you guys all these amazing views of Griffith Observatory you get from the long way. But on the way down, we can also just take that trail right there. There's Captain's Roost right there, but we gotta go all the way around, up, and then back down to it. If you decide to take the shorter trail on the way down, do note that it's a lot steeper than this one. Made it up to this bend, and we're heading up that way. We're turning off the trail right here, going down to Captain's Roost. in loving memory of Joe Goldman. He liked this park. <laughs> Check it out, how cool is that? These awesome lined up palm trees. It's not really a great time to be here as it's really backlit, but still an incredible sight.
This is just a fun little spot that not a lot of people come to. It's just awesome to see all of these palm trees. Plus you got the Hollywood sign right there. All right, we're leaving Captain's Roost and gonna make it to the Mount Hollywood Summit so I can get back before my $15 an hour parking expires. That's the summit right there. From Captain's Roost, it's a pretty short hike to the summit. I was lucky to see a bunch of horses walking towards the Hollywood sign and it made for a pretty cool photo. We made it to the summit of Mount Hollywood. Once you make it to the summit, you'll get amazing 360 degree views looking out at downtown LA, Griffith Observatory, out towards the ocean, and even the Hollywood sign. Do note that it's best after a rain so you get a nice clear sky. It's not always clear in Los Angeles. All right, we're leaving the Mount Hollywood summit. Gonna head down to Griffith Observatory for a few pictures before we end this video. Made it back to the parking area. The observatory is actually closed because of COVID. But I'm gonna walk over there and see if I can get some shots or anything like that, um, even with it being closed. Even with the observatory being closed, there was still a lot of people hanging out in the grass and just soaking in the views and the sunshine. Plus, you could walk all the way around the outside of the observatory, which is pretty cool because this place is usually packed. Hopefully by the time you guys get out here and do this hike, the observatory will be open as it's one of my favorite places in all of Los Angeles and it's really cool to explore. Well, that's it from an empty Griffith Observatory. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you on the next one.